Hey y'all, welcome back to the Artistic Circle. Y'all, I have to go get my earrings cause I forgot, listen. Um, hoops make everything better. <laughs> See, much better. Okay, so let's talk about my first week here in Korea. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I got here on Monday afternoon after training and I went to my hotel, the Rosanna Inn Hotel in Seoul. It's actually like kind of deep in Seoul. It's like an hour away from the Incheon Airport. Basically, I had to take the bus to Samsung Station and then from Samsung Station is where I caught a cab to get to the Rosanna Hotel. Y'all, it was not easy getting a cab. First of all, I had to hail down a free cab and everything's in Korean, but like there's certain things that are in English, like the bus, when they tell you which stop you're coming to, they'll tell you in Korean, English, Japanese, and Chinese um but once you get to samsung station it's like psh, no more english my taxi driver didn't speak english at all whatsoever the first cab driver that i got he didn't understand where i was going because i put it in uh roman characters and i had to translate it again to <laughs> um to korean characters so i translated it again to korean characters for my second cab driver and finally he got where I was supposed to go and somehow he still managed to get lost to Incheon Airport and I had to go through customs. Customs took me maybe 15 minutes to get through and that was shorter than it took me to get out of customs in Jamaica. Then I go and I had to do my currency exchange. I didn't come over here with a lot of cash, but I do recommend bringing cash because the conversion rate over here for cash is way better than using a card because when you go to an atm they're gonna take four dollars out for you using your card like what? that's fucking crazy back to business because i get distracted way too easily So I get to the Rosanna Boutique Hotel. I checked in, I didn't have to pay anything because it's covered by my company. I got all of my bags and loaded up on the elevator. Elevator is this big, okay? And I have big bags. I had my big carry-on, I had my big um, check bag and another carry-on and my book bag. I had a lot and I had to squeeze my thick thighs plus my thick luggage onto this itty bitty teeny tiny elevator. Well, since I got there late, I had to go to get my medical exam and um, that was not too far. It was at KMT Medical Center and it's still in Seoul. It was an easy like 15 minute bus ride away and the buses don't take cash. Make sure you get a T-Money card. Those are very important. That was the most thorough, like half-assed medical exam I've ever received in my life. So, <laughs> basically, um, they checked me for any infectious diseases. They um, took blood and urine samples because uh, the Mary Jane, she's 100% illegal over here. They checked to make sure that I was free of any drugs, including, but not limited to, any antidepressants, any anti-anxiety drugs, and um, any recreational drugs. So, real quick thorough for that part, they weighed me, they took my height, they did, all, they did a hearing exam, a vision exam, and, um, they, what else did they do? They did um, a little psych eval. They even checked my teeth and I'm like, what are you? The wait wasn't too long. It was probably like, once everything got like started up and everybody started moving, the wait was like 20 minutes. They did make me change into this like weird robe thing. 
it was kind of cute initially but at the by the time i was done i was like this thing is kind of kind of annoying <laughs> um after i finished the medical exam i went I went straight to training right after the medical exam. Training started every morning at 9 a.m. and it went until 5 p.m. And longest days ever. Basically, you're getting trained to teach in the hogwan that you're going to be assigned to. I met my trainer, Arthur. He is amazing. He's an amazing person and he's also an artist and i love it i met the rest of my classmates it was only three of us in our class i've heard of other people having like really huge class sizes like 95 people but i got lucky and only had to train with three others and i'm just gonna give you a brief overview of the entire week um we learned all of the system for chungdom um how to clock in how to clock out uh which lessons to teach for which week and um each semester is 13 weeks they make you do mock trainings which is basically like i have to teach my entire training class and lead them like i would lead my own classroom um so the mock trainings were pretty easy because i have um some teaching experience they gave me feedback of course and your peers will give you feedback um and you have to apply your feedback of course because <laughs> like don't go in there just thinking that you're gonna do whatever whatever you want all right no nah, it ain't gonna fly at chunk <laughs> um and then at the end of the week I had my evaluation, which was me doing a mock training without any interruptions. I had a specific part that I was assigned and I had to go through it without getting any feedback because of course, you know, it's an exam. And I I passed, of course, because otherwise I wouldn't be here. Uh, I hope I'm not like super awkward. I know I'm awkward. But I hope I'm not, I'm like that adequate amount of awkward that it's not like. <laughs> the good things about training week is that um, you get a lot of one-to-one -one interaction and you get to ask all of the questions that you might have. You also get to interact with other classes and those other classes are learning the same way that you are. Uh, some other like really good things are, they give you an hour for lunch and an hour goes by really fast when you have to walk everywhere that you want to go. Um, they also give you like a five minute break after each hour. Um, and then at the end of the initial training in the beginning after lunch, you are training independently with your peers. So that gives you an opportunity to do mock trainings on your own without having the pressure of having your trainer watching you like. And luckily my trainer was like super like dope and he was like really chill, but like it was so a little bit less nerve wracking, I guess to just do it in front of my peers instead of doing it in front of arts. The downside to training is that training is very compressed and you don't get to learn as much as you absolutely need to learn. It's also a very generalized training. So it's generally what Chungdom does. However, it's not what your branch might do. So your branch might be totally different and you end up doing um something and you might get reprimanded for doing it and then you have to say well that's what my trainer told me to do what what do you want me to do how, how can you expect me to not do what i was trained to do like uh, yeah and depending on which branch you go to you might have additional training for that week or you'll have um or you'll have shadowing or you'll just go, they'll literally just boop, right into it. I was kinda, I got 
I kind of got a little bit of shadowing, like one day of shadowing and then boop, I was, I was in class. Once you finish with your training on Thursday, Friday is when you get your examination and Friday is a half day. Um, and you have to bring all of your bags from the hotel to the training facility. And at the training facility, you leave everything downstairs. We did our exams and then afterwards we go downstairs, get all of our stuff and they have a taxi waiting for you, taking you to whichever branch you're supposed to be at. And I had to ride by myself because I was the only one going to um, Dung Tang. I'm in Dung Tan. I think it's a really, really lovely little area. It's really tiny. So my first day here was Friday afternoon. They took me straight to my branch. They didn't even take me straight to my apartment or anything. They took me straight to my branch. I had to take all of my junk up there. Um, they let me into a classroom where I dropped all of my um, my suitcases and everything. Uh, I, my, my apartment wasn't ready yet because I inherited an apartment from the last teacher that was here and they had to clean it and make sure that it was up to standard. And I'll give you guys a tour of the apartment as well. Um, they put me up in another motel, that motel, uh, I would have preferred to have um, slept at the school because that motel was, it was nasty. It was really nasty. Like I couldn't, I'll, I'll never do that again, whatever. It was called the Icon. It's not, it's not iconic at all. It was trash. Look at me. It was trash. I will talk to you guys more about Changdom next video. And um, I'll tell you guys about my first week at work, um, what I like and what I don't like. And hopefully I will have that for you guys next week. I don't, like I said, I'm not gonna make any promises that I can't keep, however. But, don't worry, I promise that I will update you guys. Um, and I will, again, link my Instagram below, my Twitter below. I will also link my Snapchat where you can see all of my videos in real time. Um, sorry, there's a bee trying to come into my, into my apartment because like I have my window open because you know, <laughs> This beautiful sunlight is like giving me a glow regardless of the fact that my like my face looks like trash right now and that I have these Louis Vuittons under my eyes. But I'm going to close my window and I'm going to talk to you guys soon. I hope that you guys have a blessed week. Next week I'll even have a motivational quote for you or something. I'm just trying to figure this whole YouTube thing out. So bear with me. Um... I'm gonna go get some some coffee and some brunch. Y'all have a good y'all have a good weekend. Y'all be good. Okay? Be good. <laughs> Bye.